Hey everybody, Scott Sprantz here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Sunday, October 6, 2019. Free pick coming up in the NFL in just a moment. Big day in the NFL. I've got my first eight-unit play of the NFL season going today. We're going to talk a little bit more about that, but a big day in sports overall, not just in football. All that coming up in just a second, along with the free Sunday pick. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video and you get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. And it comes with the DocSports guarantee. Free $60 account. Get started by clicking on the link below this video. All right, uh, as we speak, as we cut this video, we've got one game to go in college football on Saturday evening. I've got my NHL to go yet on Saturday night. They're getting ready to face off. Uh, but here's what we've done so far. Friday night, Saturday, college football card. Uh, we're up a few units. We had the six-unit winner, another top play winner uh, with Iowa State, 49-24, laying three and a half over TCU. Iowa State, that win takes us down to 6-0 and with our six-unit plays so far this football season. One play to go in college football, and uh, we're going to end up ahead unit-wise no matter what happens in that game, but we could obviously uh, pile on a few more units if Boise State's able to come in and get us the victory over UNLV. If they don't get there, we still have a winning day unit-wise, uh, just less units in the bank for us this week, right? So anyway, uh, that's what's going or what happened, I should say, on Saturday with one game to go in college football. And again, the game just started in the NHL. Going into Saturday, a perfect 4-0 in the NHL. So we'll hope to look uh, to make that 5-0 with our play that's about to get underway. As far as Sunday's NHL, real quick note, there are three games. And be sure to check my homepage on Sunday morning to see if we're going to be involved in the NHL. I'll be capping it late Saturday night into Sunday's morning. So we'll look to see uh, if we're going to have a play for Sunday at that time. And again, you can go check it out on my Handicappers homepage. It'll say whether we have a play or whether I'm passing in the NHL. We look to stay red hot on the ice in hockey. As far as everything else, again, eight-unit play in the NFL. I've got three plays going on Sunday. We've cashed three of the last four NFL Sundays as far as winning units wise. And again, three sides on Sunday. Don't have a two-team teaser this week, but I do have three NFL sides. One of those happens to be a big eight-star, eight-unit play. And it goes at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. So if you've yet to grab the play and still want to do so, you've got till 1 p.m. Eastern uh, before that game kicks off. Last year, my eight-unit plays, we had three regular season, eight-unit sides in football. We won all three. We went a perfect 3-0. and And you can tell by having just three all regular season long. We don't have a lot of these. This is the first one for this season. It's up and available right now with three plays at all in the NFL. As far as baseball, I passed on Saturday. We're 4-1 and one in Major League Baseball playoff action. I will be in action on Sunday. That play available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific and after that time. And also, I wanted to mention the WNBA. Game three of the WNBA Finals. Uh, we go into Sunday's card 19 and 9 with our last 28, 45, 24, and 2 against the spread with our last 71. I've got a five unit WNBA play going on Sunday. It will be available at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. I've also got a five unit play at NASCAR. The race at Dover on Sunday, 2 40 p.m. Eastern, uh, 11 40 a.m. Pacific is when the race starts. And right now, as I speak, I've already handicapped NASCAR. It's already posted with analysis. I've got one five unit matchup going on Sunday. And look, you know how well we've done in NASCAR. Uh, you go back to May 1st, we're 17 and 4 with our last 21, and we're 10 and 1 with our last 11. We picked up over $6,200 for those wagering $100 per unit. So as you can see, real busy Sunday for me. NASCAR, WNBA, Major League Baseball, NFL, including that big eight unit play, big day for us. And don't, you know, don't miss out on these other sports, man. I know the NFL, I know football is king, but we went into Saturday uh, gaining over 44 units the last 14 days going into Saturday. And of course, we'll add up everything uh, after Saturday's results are completely in and update that over on the DocSports.com website. All right, let's get to it. Hey, first of all, I want to tell you where some of the betting action is on Sunday in the NFL. And uh, for the update on that, we'll be on ESPN uh, National again, as we are every Sunday. We usually jump on between 1230, 1245 p.m. 
Eastern time. We update where the betting is, Sharps versus Joes, all that good stuff. Uh, but I do want to let you know where everything is as of Saturday night, about 10 p.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. Pacific. Biggest bet game of the books that report to me, both ticket and money-wise, the New England Patriots, minus 16 over the skins, over 80% of the tickets, over 80% of the money on New England in that one. And the biggest Joes versus pros reported to me by a couple of books so far is the Denver uh, Broncos uh, LA Chargers game where the public is on the Chargers who are now a five and a half point favorite coming down the public about 55 56% of the tickets on the Chargers but the sharp money the overall money coming in on the underdog Denver Broncos about 64% of the money on Denver and that's why that lines come all the way down to five and a half I saw a couple of fives out there earlier on Saturday so again we'll update all that we'll have a lot more to talk about on ESPN National on Sunday sometime between 1230 and 1245 p.m. Eastern be sure to tune in to an ESPN station near you if you're interested in finding out what's going on as far as the betting around the NFL before the games kick off all right let's get to our free pick for Sunday and I'm going to turn to the battle between the Buccaneers and the Saints last week I had uh, the New Orleans Saints as my top play they kick four field goals they beat the Dallas Cowboys thanks to New Orleans defense and forcing Dallas, who had had a pretty easy schedule before that to have to step it up on offense. They couldn't. We got the two-point victory. But, you know, the Buccaneers, they wipe out the Rams last week, score 55. Now, a lot of times I'll look to go the other way when a team does that, but I think the Buccaneers are going to be able to catch the Saints in this game. They managed to beat New Orleans, it seems like, once out of every two times every single season. I love uh, Shaq Barrett. I mean, this guy might be my favorite defender in all of the NFL this season. He's got nine sacks already on on the year and if you can get uh, after Teddy Bridgewater who's just game managing right now as far as the New Orleans Saints quarterback then you can maybe put a wrench into what New Orleans wants to do which is run the football short dump offs and then play a defensive football game if we can get a second solid game in a row consistent play out of Jameis Winston I think they can win this game we'll recommend taking the points with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Tampa Bay plus the points our free pick uh, on Sunday's report again don't forget about Sunday real busy not just the NFL but the NFL is king again on Sunday with that eight unit play we'd like to go four and oh with our uh, football eight unit regular season sides lifetime uh, since I've been at DocSports.com three and oh report in the NFL three sides including that eight star play and then everything else man Major League Baseball uh, WNBA five unit play WNBA five unit play in NASCAR and again check back on Sunday morning over at the website to see if we're involved in Sunday's NHL so big Sunday in store Tampa Bay Buccaneers plus the points of the free pick I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com if you like the videos click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe we won here yesterday with Boston College plus the points let's get the weekend sweep Scott Sprites or DocSports.com put Sunday in the win column right back here Friday morning with our college football open opening line report. Did I say Friday? I meant Monday morning, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. We'll talk to you then. Best of luck on Sunday.